Okay, we're back live here at Strata Conference in Silicon Valley in Santa Clara, California. I'm John Furrier, the founder of SiliconAngle.com. This is theCUBE, our flagship program. We go out to the events, extract the signal from the noise, talk to the thought leaders, CEOs, developers, whoever is extracting the signal from the noise, and also startups. And uh, we're excited to have a startup right here, just recently funded um, and hiring and doing a lot of stuff in a very progressive area in real time, streaming, uh, H streaming. Again, I'm John Furrier, I'm joined with my co-host, I'm Dave Vellante of Wikibon.org, and as you know, we love to bring you new and exciting and, and maybe not so well-known startups and technology innovators, and we're here with a company called H Streaming. Jana Ulig is the co-founder and chief executive officer. Jana, welcome to theCUBE. Thank you so much. So the buzz this week has been, this week and even the last uh, strata, has been all about you know, bringing SQL-like capabilities to Hadoop to do BI in real time. Now that's kind of a misnomer. In the world that you live in, you know, how you define real time is dramatically different than what I just described. So talk about that a little bit and then we'll get into, tell us more about H streaming. Okay, so um, let me first tell you what we are doing and then I compare Great. it to what, um, what you just Terrific. said. What we do is we help companies to uh, convert big data into value. So we take data when it's still streaming, when it's still in flight as it gets generated, and we put it through our strategy engine to uh, and help companies to derive some action out of, out of data. Before it's stored? Before it stores. Okay. As it streams in. All right, so, um, so tell us more. Uh, you know, our audience, I'm sure, is intrigued as I was when I first about this. It's like, really, you do that? How do you do that? W you know, what do you do that for? Who, who does that? So. Okay, we do, it, we do it on Hadoop. Mm -hmm. We do it on Hadoop, we take the data as it gets generated, we push it through our strategy engine so that customers can be doing repricing their products, catching the right customers with advertising, uh, trading, uh, they can do all sorts of different things or just triggering in real time business processes um, as the data is coming in. Because as you know, the, the data is coming in such a volume and velocity, it's just impossible for anybody to be, uh, to be sorting through it and looking um, what to do with it. And big data is getting stale very fast, so um, um, so when the, the it's really critical that we they take action on the data as it comes in. So streaming is obviously a big buzzword. Obviously, people that in the inside the big data world know mm -hmm. um, it's hard to harness real time. We see Impala, we see EMC trying to push that same message and others. Um, and you see companies out there like Twitter mm -hmm. um, using it, and there's open source stores like Storm. So talk about what people are interested in about streaming. What's different about what you guys are doing around real time data, and how does that compare to some other approaches? Storing it, building a corpus, doing data mining, doing data warehousing, doing the normal business intelligence. What are sure. you guys doing that's different, and what's that value proposition for the market? Okay, the other products that you that you uh, mentioned, except of Storm, are doing a real-time query, and that is very complementary to what we are doing, because companies usually start first um, digging into historic data, looking for insights, and the faster they can and the more interactively they can get to an insight, the better for them. But once you have an insight, the insight by, its do by itself doesn't have any value per se. It needs to get um, converted into an action so that you can Get, do something with it, and this is where we come in play. So we are totally complementary to, to the products that you mentioned. Um, you know, everybody's pretty much trying to speed up queries um, to be more interactive and being more real time. What problem? What problem specifically are you guys solving? We are solving all sorts of different uh, problems. I mean, we have customers um, that are doing a lot of video analytics um, that needs to be in real time. For example, in security, you know, in in in, in airports, you have thousands of cameras looking and somebody come, some, say somebody goes through a secure area. You want to know whether this is um, a security intrusion or not. So we can roll back the time and look what that person was doing in the airport half an hour ago, whether there was some behaviors that were awkward. We can um, match the data in real time with other data sources and then derive some intelligence to say, oh, that was a mistake, somebody just got lost. Or that is a true security intrusion that somebody needs to get dispatched to. So so that's an example, that. Yana, mm -hmm. where you're actually taking data that has been stored and analyzing it faster than alternatives, is that right? Or no, 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 you're looking at the camera as it is happening. Okay, so what you said, you roll back 30 minutes, so it's, it's yes, uh, because we annotate, comparing it to... We annotate all the videos that it's coming in and we hold it in memory. We span a window of time frame over what is happening. So what we are doing is we are looking for patterns in real time. But sometimes that patterns, you know, you're looking for event one and event two and event three to happen at the same time that makes a meaning. 
So sometimes that uh, event happened long time ago, but the last one triggers that, wow, oh, now it means something. So can you compare what you're doing with something like, for instance, that's been around for a while, complex event processing, which has, of course, been big in the financial services right. business. How are you similar, how are you different? Capability-wise, we are very similar what they are doing, but we are bringing in a totally new context because their bread and butter is just finance. It's made for small data. It's not made for built data. It can do, um, uh, it's built for, for finance pretty much. And what we are doing, we are extending the usage cases that anybody can do it because the big data is bringing in new problems um, because it, it's, it's, it's coming in so fast and furious, you really have to capture the value it gets stale. And that is a new paradigm that in the small data was, was, not, was not the case. So you're CEP for big data, essentially. <laughs> that's <laughs> yeah. right, that's right. Um, and it's built all in Hadoop. Um, so, yeah, so talk more about the tech behind it and, and you know, what you had to do to, de to develop this capability. Um, we are coming from uh, the analyst position that it needs to be easy for the analysts to work, uh, you know, work with it. So we build everything inside of Hadoop so that it looks like the normal environment that analysts is used to work with. Mm -hmm. Now who's we? So you're a, you're a husband wife team that started the company, right? That's so right, and we have another partner. Okay, so, so John. three founders. Okay, great, so the, the, and you just recently got funded by, uh, by Atlas Ventures, mm -hmm. it, you know, generally and specifically Chris Lynch is, on, is, is joining the That's board, right. is that right? So that's interesting too, because you're a West Coast company. You know, John, we've had Chris Lynch on before, and he's always talking about East Coast, East Coast, East Coast, but he's made an exception. That's right. In your he case. never he never invests in a, in an East Coast company. <laughs> he, he doesn't like coming west. He <laughs> but he's out on he's out exploring the the West Coast. Chris, congratulations! Uh, <laughs> welcome to the party, pal, as we say. But uh, but in all seriousness, Chris is smart. I mean, we know Chris is a great uh, great investor. He's aggressive. He's smart. He's got a good nose for the business. But I think what's more important, Dave, is I think what Chris Lynch is doing is is consistent with what the top VCs are doing. If you look at the consumer. Web, uh, Fred Wilson, Rich Levendorf, other VCs are in all were in all the early deals on the consumer side. Twitter, Zynga, those were West Coast VC, East Coast VCs who invested in those guys. So yeah. So what made not, you what made you go with a with an East Coast early investor? As opposed, I mean, there's plenty of opportunities out here for investors. Why, why an East Coast investor? Like I mean, Alice? Chris has a, Chris has an unmatched. Um, Ex, you know, a breadth of experience, operational experience from Vertica, and what he sees in H-Streaming is a big parallel to what he did with Vertica. You know, scale it out, get many customers, and he's always saying, there is a lot of usage cases that had, they had at Vertica that they just couldn't do because the latency requirements were too short, and he believes that every customer that has an MPP database will want to um, buy our our. So that our resonated solution. with you, and and, mm -hmm. and that resonated with you in terms of your choice of. I mean, uh, he's bringing he's investors. bringing a lot of experience on the table. That. Right. Um, so you know the, the thing valuable. that Hadoop, the thing that Dave, the thing that Hadoop brings to the table, and that you and I were talking about this last night, is that um, Hadoop can bring value to the data warehousing side. But some people who are on the on the more innovative side would call that cheap data warehousing, just by bolting on Hadoop into. Um, into data warehousing. Um, so I want to ask you, and this brings the conversation back to like some of the core conversations. Are you moving it around the network? Is data moving around the network and how many transformations? Uh, but more importantly, latency versus throughput. Just what's your personal opinion as you look at the landscape of different solutions out there? There's pressure for late, low latency and also at the same time scalability and throughput. That's right. How do you guys look at that in terms of your solution as compared to others? I mean, we have an amazing um, uh, throughput as well as latency. I mean, we, we um, did uh, test our system on, uh, on 1,000 nodes, so we scale out and through one node and push up to two million events per second. So it's very, um, uh, very scalable and we, get, we do uh, latencies in milliseconds. So um, I think you can have it both. So obviously we're hearing, and we've always said, Dave and I actually, I forget where we were, I think we were at uh, Oracle Open World, we said, you know, when talking about uh, software-led infrastructure and flash memory, uh, the emphasis was on benchmarks. Now in big data, you're starting to see benchmarks come mm -hmm. out. Um, not always kind of the, the use cases that people would predict, are they customer workloads? So benchmarks are interesting. So at, uh, at the EMC Greenplum announcement, mm -hmm. they said they're 100 times faster uh, than Impala and mm -hmm. Hadoop. Um, what's your take on benchmarks? Because Benchmarks can be rigged, some say, uh, but yet people are impressed by benchmarks. What do you think about that statistic, a hundred times faster than uh, Hadoop? I mean, uh, besides not believing a, it or believing it, what do you do? You believe it? <laughs> Too slow. <laughs> <laughs> Should be a thousand times it's faster. <laughs> You know, I think it's it's bringing a lot of power to the analysts so that they can get to the inside much faster, and this is playing to our game as well. I think it's good for everybody if the ecosystem is bringing faster, better, um, and more user-friendly um, products in the market. Um, 
So let's talk more about uh, use cases. Obviously, ad serving mm -hmm. is is one. Talk about that a little bit and, and others that might apply. Um, okay, we have um, uh, we have a customers that are we're in the uh, mobile advertising space. So when you open uh, your phone, you an app, there is a, there's a space for an for an uh, for an ad. It goes into the exchange, so you have a hundred milliseconds to fill that. Um, this is what currently companies are already doing. What we can do is we can in the hundred milliseconds also do a lot of real time analytics. Uh, so that we can do a better targeting. So we can do behavioral analytics on what is the customer doing, how it is usually moving around. Um, we can do capping, retargeting, and many other, many other things. And that brings up the, the revenues for both the advertiser as well as for the app owner. So that you can move that, that hit needle higher up than you can yeah. with existing technology. It's actually dramatically changing the, the market of mobile advertising by doing better, the, the, uh, by better targeting. So, um, you mentioned you've got customer, uh, customers in mobile advertising. So, how long have you been shipping the product? Give us the sort of status there. We have a customer in production. Okay. Um, uh, we made some announcement around mobile advertising. Yep, but, uh, um, yep so, mm -hmm. okay, so you're in production. Yes. Um, Congratulations, that's Thank great you. for a small company like yours. And, and this is your first round of fi financing, is that's that right? That's right. Okay, so really just getting started. And uh, so what kind of people are you looking for to build you know, your team around? Um, we are looking just for the top notch. I mean, we, we pushed it so far uh, with three people. We have, um, we have awards, um, award winning technology um, by Gardner and um, CRN and other companies. We also um, have a shipping product, etc. So we are looking for salespeople for marketing that can get um, can, can get the, the bus out, as well as for top-notch engineer that would fit in the in a German engineering culture that we have. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think about the cloud? So we're going to do a segment tomorrow on cloud means big data. Obviously, streaming is one of those things where you there's a lot of mm -hmm. you know in event-based kind of uh, analytics and also you know different kind of a methodology in, in dealing with data versus just you know straight storing it to a disk and then and uh, you know, working on it. Um, Amazon has got a lot of traction in cloud. Uh, Elastic MapReduce is getting some traction because it's mm -hmm. ease of use. Um, how does your solution fit in the cloud? Does it fit in the cloud? And what's your take on using the cloud for Hadoop-like environments? We work on any Hadoop distribution, so we have a partnership um, with everybody on the market. We are certified in Cloudera. We worked on, um, uh, on EMC that you mentioned. Um, we worked um, on, on MapR, we worked on every distribution, data stacks, et cetera, that, that are on the market. Um, and we also work on the AWS. Any results, any clients there in AWS? We have to say like most of our customers want an in-house installation mm -hmm. and do not want to be working in cloud. Oh, oh, explain why, I mean, I know there's obvious reasons, but I'd, I'd like you to because hear. Because most of the customers that really have a big data and have a, have a need to making business decisions really fast are large org organizations. Mm -hmm and they just don't trust uh, their data out in the cloud. Well. <laughs> right, who does? <laughs> <laughs> okay, John, uh, thank okay. you so much for coming on theCUBE. Great to have startups. Congratulations on your financing, husband and wife team. We'd love to see that in, in Silicon Valley because that's not always endorsed. You know, VCs don't usually invest in husband and wife teams. Uh, Cisco, and, VMware. And, and that's, well, it's the exception, <laughs> not the rule, we know. I mean, I know, I've heard that before. Um, <laughs> Um, again, congratulations, you're hiring. Thank you so much. Get some seed funding, good luck, and you're in a hot area. Okay, hstreaming.com, check them out. Uh, growing San Francisco-based startup doing a hot um, startup in the area of, of real time and streaming, that's fast data. That's something that we like to see. And uh, Chris Lynch is a big investor with uh, Atlas Ventures funding them. So we'll be right back with our next guest after this short break. Thank you. <laughs>